Greetings, everyone. Craig Hester here with R2AWatches.com, and thank you for joining us again as we continue on our journey through all the watches and accessories that are available at R2AWatches.com. If you are watching this on YouTube, be sure and hit like and subscribe and ring that bell to get those early notifications so you know right when we put a new video up. If you are watching this on Facebook, you want to join the private group Vostok Europe Timepieces. Don't let the name fool you. We talk about all the watches that are available at R2AWatches.com, not just Vostok Europe, though, of course, we spend a lot of time talking about Vostok Europe. A lot of people love that brand. And if you really want to have a place where there's a lot of camaraderie, where people who enjoy the same watches that you do and you don't have any negativity, which we just do not allow in our group, uh, Vostok Europe Timepieces is the place for you. Today, we are talking about the Gaz Limo Collection from Vostok Europe. The Gaz Limo, named after Brezhnev's Limo, or it's mostly associated with him. This was a, a famous limousine from the 1970s that was used by Soviet dignitaries. In fact, the earliest versions of the Gaz Limo, the dial was actually pulled directly from the uh, inspired by or pulled directly from the dashboard clock um, so there's a, basically when you're talking about the gas limo collection you're talking about really the only dress watch that Vostok Europe still has in its collection Vostok Europe of course these days is known for going to extremes that's their slogan among other things uh, the sky is no longer the limit and so forth um, Vostok Europe has definitely become known now for for building watches that are uh, really extreme sport watches but they wanted to make sure that they kept at least one line in the collection for those uh, who wanted a Vostok Europe but they wanted a more dress watch a watch that they could wear that they could dress up or dress down I mean uh, the Gaslimo is not what I would consider a purely dress watch uh, it's kind of a dress sport you can still um, let me get this light on you can still wear it uh, in, a, in a casual setting or even with blue jeans, but you can also dress it up as you can tell by what I'm showing you right here. Uh, if you're not familiar with Vostok Europe, Vostok Europe is a boutique wash brand based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Uh, we've been doing business with them for, well, more than 15 years now. And they are, uh, every single watch is hand assembled at their facility there in Vilnius. I've been there many times myself. They have seven full-time watchmakers who assemble every single watch there. And every watch goes through a multi-point inspection process. I believe there's 28 different steps that it goes through uh, before they leave Vostok Europe in terms of approval process of meeting their, their very stringent QC requirements. Um, every watch is completely designed by Vostok Europe. I like to talk about the fact that Vostok Europe does a tremendous amount for a boutique watch brand. For a brand their size, it's really pretty amazing what all they do because they really they start with a blank piece of paper or more accurately as I like to say, they start with a blank computer screen and they finish with a completed watch. Every single thing in a Vostok Europe is 100% custom. We have other videos at r2awatches.com and on the r2awatches.com uh, YouTube channel where we go into greater depth about the history of Vostok Europe, about the construction process, the design process, their uh, brand ambassadors, and so forth. So if you uh, if you haven't learned all the depth that you can about Vostok Europe, it's it's a good opportunity to do so to go look at those videos. We'll have them linked in the uh, below the video here on YouTube. So as I said, today we are talking about the Gaz Limo, named for the Gaz 14 limousine from the 1970s. I've got four different executions here. Now this is really just intended to be an overview. There are multiple color options with the Gaz Limo collection. Um, I've just got four here. I have the two of the NH35 versions. That's the NH35. That's the workhorse movement from Seiko, that, the three-hand workhorse movement from Seiko that is in these two editions right here. Excuse me, that's the wrong one. Uh, here with the, I guess you would call it bronze tone, or yeah, bronze tone with the rose with the rose gold, and then the very much blacked out version with the black on black on black with just a little bit of red highlights, uh, red and black being Vostok Europe's colors. Now these are fairly simple in terms of uh, functionality. It is an automatic three hand movement. Um, the only complication that's in an NH35 would be the date. Uh, it's because it's anything anything more than actual timekeeping. Some people even argue that a second sweep second hand is a, isn't a complication. But I, I stick with it that the complication on here would be the date because anything beyond timekeeping in a mechanical watch is considered a complication. Let me quickly give you the specs of the watch. Um, and these days I'm 
using cheat sheets a little bit more to make sure that I get everything exactly right when I'm talking about these on the videos so we don't have a we don't have one of my mistakes living in perpetuity on the video on YouTube. Uh, this is a 45 millimeter timepiece. I actually like to always double check that with my handy dandy caliper and show you the size. So from side to side, uh, well, it's showing, okay, there we go, 44.7. So it's, you know, roughly a 45 millimeter timepiece. Let's see how thick it is. We are at 13.3 millimeters thick on this watch. The lug width is 23, and I'm going to give you the lug to lug. A lot of people like to have that from the bottom lug to the top lug. This isn't going to be perfect, guys, but I'm going to give you the, basically the rough idea from lug to lug is about 60 millimeters. Um, so this is by no means a small watch. I'm going to put it on my wrist and give you guys a quick wrist shot of at least one of them. This is by no means a small watch, but 45 today would be considered, um, you know, fairly standard sizes. It used to be that a 45 was a large watch. I can remember when we talked about 45, 45 millimeter watches being really pretty large watches, but those days are over. Um, you, you've got to get up into the 47, 48 category these days if you're going to be talking about a really large timepiece. Um, forgive my being out of focus there while we're waiting for me to put this watch on my wrist. All right, here we go. So here it is on a wrist shot. Let me get that in focus. Now, this is actually a really good size. Now, my, my wrist is about seven and a half inches, so I do not have a big wrist, although because of the top of my wrist is fairly flat, I can actually wear fairly big watches. Um, you know, I, I'm always kind of skeptical about wrist shots because it varies so dramatically depending upon what wrist you're talking about. You know, on a seven and a half inch wrist, this watch looks like it's fairly big. Um, you know, if you've got an eight, eight and a half inch wrist or something like that, if you're a bigger guy, this is obviously going to wear smaller. It really just depends on your wrist. But there you get an idea of what it looks like. That's the black and red that I'm showing you with the NH35. Like all Vostok Europe's, this has the hardened Gorilla Glass K1 mineral system. Uh, that gives you basically the best of both worlds. If you look at crystals on the Mohs scale, a mineral crystal is a five, a sapphire crystal is a nine, the Gorilla Glass or K1 mineral system is a seven. So you get nearly the scratch resistance of sapphire and you get nearly the shatter resistant of mineral. If you're not aware of that, uh, sapphire, while nearly impossible to scratch, um, can be is, is not as shatter resistant as mineral crystals. Mineral crystals very, very difficult to shatter, but also are more prone to scratches. Uh, with K1, you get right in the middle of that. So you've got really the best of both worlds uh, in terms of uh, functionality with your crystal. Now, all of these except for, let me check. Yeah, all of these are closed case backs. Uh, we don't have an exhibition case back among these. I actually am not sure if any of the gas limos, I think the small, I think the small power reserve has an exhibition case back. But anyway, you can see that on r2awatches.com. As I mentioned, this is just an example of the different gas limos. There are multiple colors. If you like something different, if you're not into the black and red, if you not if you don't necessarily like the blue, there are a lot of other options. This is another one of the executions. This has several has more than one complication. This actually has several complications. So this is I'll show you here the SKU number, the YN84565E550. This this is the YN84 movement, which has a 24-hour complication. It also is what's known as a power reserve. Now, if you watch, you'll see up here at the top, as I'm winding the watch, it's like a fuel gauge. And it starts to show how I've wound the watch, and now you have a fuel gauge. I'm going to stop there. That's saying there's 20 hours, because it went up to the 20. There's roughly 20 hours of power reserve now if you didn't wind it anymore. Now, this is an automatic timepiece, so as you wear it on your wrist, you're going to wind it more and more. If you wore this every day, you shouldn't ever need to wind it. But I do like to remind people, if you get a watch, and if you have an automatic or a mechanical timepiece, and you leave it on your dresser and you let it completely run, wind out, it is better to go ahead and give it about 10 or 20 wines when you put it on just 
in case your wrist doesn't give it enough energy because you will not get really good timekeeping if you don't have it wound up enough. Uh, and that is something that people will think something's wrong with the watch when it's not. It's just a matter of it needed to be wound. These are all 5 ATM. Like I said before, there is no pretense that the Gaz Limo is a sport watch or that it is a watch in the caliber in terms of sport caliber. Now let me be clear. All the other um, all of the other components are at the same level of, of top grade A quality that any Vostok Europe is. Um, but they didn't put in uh, a higher water resistance on this because again, it's not intended to be a dive watch. These are intended to be sport casual watches or dress casual watches, depending upon what nomenclature you prefer. And then here we go, we have the this is the YN84, I believe. Nope, excuse me. This is the YM26. This is the YM2. The YN84 is the one we were just looking at. Um, the YM26 movement, this is a multifunction. Now, this one, I want to be clear. Only of, the, of the four watches that we have here, this is the only one that is a quartz watch. Um, this is a multifunction quartz watch. The two most important functions that you're going to want to think about here, first of all, it has a sound alarm. I'm going to pull this out to the first position. I'm going to move this over to hold on for a second there will you there we go we we'll move this over to the microphone and we're going to listen to the alarm now i don't know how well that's going to come through because of other noises that ambient noises that may be down here in our little uh, dungeon where we do our shooting but anyway that's that's the sound alarm this is also a world timer this top sub dial is the time for the secondary time zone. You use the pushers when you have the crown pushed in all the way, you use the pushers to move up or down to whatever country on the chapter ring or whatever city on the chapter ring you want to have, you want to see what time it is. And basically the secondary time zone here is gonna be, it's gonna be um, tied to whatever time zone you're currently at. So if this is say 15 till three here, I don't know if I've got this set on AM or PM, um, then the the time at the in the other location and you can either go backwards or forwards depending upon where you are to save time it's going to show you what time it is in the other location so let's say i'm whipping around here and it's going to show you the time in oh who cares denver or we can go all the way around to and now it's going to be showing you what time it is in melbourne these are the your current time zone that's what's important in terms of the dual time on the gas limo now, straps. There are several straps op strap options on the Gaz Limos. The ones you're looking here are the standard straps that come with the watch. On three of these, we have the integrated strap with that extra thick uh, near the end links. We have the integrated strap on three of these options. And then on this other one, this is the first time with the YN84 that we have the handmade straps with the vegetable tanned handmade leather from Italy, which is just, oh, these are such supple, wonderful, fantastically great straps. Uh, these, these, these handmade vegetable tan straps that now Vostok Europe is using on many of their lines. Now it doesn't integrate like the one you see on this watch, but it does create a beautiful, beautiful look on the timepiece. So this is a basic overview of the Gas 14 Limo again, inspired by that amazing limousine from the 1970s is the one that's most associated with Brezhnev um, and again the original gas limos the actual uh, dial configuration oh one thing I did leave out uh, let's talk about luminosity for a minute because that's important on this watch every single one of these now I want to be clear not every gas limo I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the 45 millimeter gas limos here I'm, I'm not doing the 43 millimeters here that do not have tritium tube technology these this set, the 45 millimeters that I'm talking about here, these four among several other options. And by the way, there are a whole new set of gas limos coming out um, in this just the next few weeks in 2020. So if you're watching this and it, you know, just put a note on it, we're in September of 2020, September, October, November, there's going to be multiple new gas limos coming out. This does have the tritium tube technology. Now, one of the things that's nice about that is you don't often see the tritium tube technology. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, that gives you the constant illumination. 
um, so you don't ever have to charge it up in the light like you do regular Superluminova. You don't often see that in a dress watch. That typically is something that you only see in sport watches. So it's really nice that Vostok Europe has an option for tritium tube technology in a dress watch. And in fact, the tritium tubes are also their countersunk. So usually the tritium sits right on top of the dial, which for a sport watch looks fine, but for a dress watch you want to have a more you want to have more clean lines. So if you look, you'll notice that the tritium tubes are actually countersunk on the Vostok Europe gas limousine. So here we have it, four examples of the gas limousine, two with the three-hand NH35 bulletproof use it forever NH35 Seiko movement and then two other Seiko movements and two other executions with the champagne dial here and these beautiful beautiful electric blue here you have the YN84 which is your automatic open heart so you can see uh, the beating heart of the movement with your uh, with your power reserve and a 24 hour indicator and then here you have the YN excuse me the YN8 I got to look again make sure I get it right the YM26 in this particular execution which is the one with the secondary time zone and the sound alarm this also has a sound alarm so this 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 version has the 24 hour uh, as a 24 hour time for the secondary time zone it has a sound alarm and then you'll notice that because of the fact that the sweep second hand is the one that points or what would normally be where there's a sweep second hand is the one that points to whatever city you want to have the timekeeping on you're going to see that the actual second hand is a sub dial on this it is not the full sweep second hand so those are the four executions that we're talking about today of the gas limo from Vostok Europe. If you've been looking for a dress watch that you want to have, have all the styling and uh, quality components that you're used to in Vostok Europe, uh, but you'd like to have at least one or two dress watches in your collection, the gas limo is definitely what you're looking for. Until next time, I'm Craig Hester, and hey, keep watching.